All right, good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday the 19th. We shall jump in here. Um, so PNL for last week was about 10,600. That came from a 60% win rate. And then on the trades tab here, trades table, uh, let's see, biggest loss was QQQ, 860 bucks. Biggest win was also QQQ. For about 5,000, 2,500 on the Big Apple, another 23 on the QQQ, little NVIDIA, little more QQQ, little more NVIDIA, and all kinds of good stuff. And then in the room here, we got two open trades, um, some calls in Apple and some calls in Amazon. Alrighty, so looking at the rankings here, everything remains pretty bullish. S&Ps get a total score of 73 out of 75, Dow Jones a 69, QQQ 67, and the IWM a 59. All pretty good scores uh, for the sectors. You have XLB, Silver, Gold, the Big 12, Communications, Financials, Industrials, XLY, um, here's Big Tech, here are the Big Semis. None have a negative score. Uh, you know, XLB, XLC, definitely stronger than healthcare and energy. But everything looking to green, and then Big 12. Big move in Netflix after earnings, that gets a perfect 75. Apple, Amazon, NVIDIA, TSM. If anything, I try to avoid AMAT, AMD, Tesla, and Google. Probably, probably Microsoft and Meta as well. Try to focus more so on the top two, three, four, maybe five names. But that is a good-looking sheet. And then as far as the indexes go, um, so futures-wise, NQ, QQQ futures. Really clean, really bullish daily squeeze. Perfect score of 15. We got the white dot. We got the white arrow. Until that changes, if they can take that for... Uh, if they can take that squeeze, take out the highs, we're looking for 2100 plus. They get one, maybe two closes back below that 21 EMA. Then I think you pump the brakes on the idea of the uh, the immediate long. But until that changes, that is bullish. And then weekly chart. It's not an A plus setup just yet. We don't have the white arrow. But not a bad looking weekly squeeze. They can turn momentum a bit, get the buy signal. You had the white arrow back here. You had the white arrow back here. They both led to a pretty good push. So that all shapes up pretty good. Uh, the key for this week, can we get more lower time frame buy signals? Right now, we have a 1 hour and a 30 minute. If we can get a 15 minute, 2 hour, 4 hour, the more the merrier in that daily squeeze, then I think you look for the push. So futures look good, and then the cash, Ola. Same scoop. Daily squeeze, buy signal, the perfect score of 15. Could we get a few more buy signals? 30 minute is neutral, 15 is neutral. What that daily squeeze does is set the stage for a move into 505, 506. What has to happen to trigger that move? You know, take that daily squeeze, pop open the hood. You want everything from the ground up aligned for a push higher. Momentum, structure, um, you know, keep it nice and simple. You want a lot of your lower time frames, if not all of them, to print the buy signal. We only got a one hour for now. If we can get a few more into Monday's open, I think they want to go for it. Below that 21 EMA and got to change up that game plan. So there's your QQQ. Moving on to the S&Ps. No bigger time frame squeeze, but you know, very bullish. Weekly buy signal, daily buy signal, 4-hour, 2-hour, 30-minute buy signal. Um, it looks like we do have a 2-hour. Yeah, we do have a 2-hour squeeze. Until things change, until the signal shift, S&Ps are bullish. And then a quick look at the Dow, quick look at the IWM. Uh, the Dowski. Moving and a grooving. Daily squeeze just fired. Good handful of buy signals. 
I don't see any issues. And then the IWM. Um, let's see. Daily Squeeze just fired. Three Day Squeeze hasn't fired yet. Uh, a little bigger picture. They did fire that weekly squeeze about two bars ago. If they can keep the push going from that weekly, you look for a target around you know, 240, 245. For now, indexes look bullish. QQQ, IWM, few bigger time frame squeezes. If, uh, if the Bulls want to go for it, I think they got the ammunition. Moving on to the stock side. Um, so a couple of the better trades from last week. In the room on, I believe it was Monday, had a really clean four-hour squeeze here on Apple. Checked all the boxes, all the bells and whistles. White arrow, white dot, A-plus setup. So we jumped in on a 235 call for November expiration. The following morning caught a pretty nice gap up. Took our profits, and then I took about half the profit. Rolled that into the 240 call for November 1st. Earnings are, I think, the 31st of October. What I'm trying to catch here, mainly off the daily squeeze, you do have the weekly. I'm thinking maybe that's more so more so a setup for after earnings. But hey, if they can fire that puppy, I think Apple is a $250 stock. Three-day squeeze shaping up, brand new buy signal. Two days squeeze shaping up. They got the slingshot signal. I think between now and earnings, if they can keep it above that 233, they can take that daily squeeze, maybe get a push going towards 240-ish. That is what I'm looking for. Caught the initial push. And, and if anything, that four-hour squeeze got the job done. Built up all the energy near the 21 EMA. Kicked off the push and then took that towards that 3 ATR target. A good spot to pay yourself, and then you know, maybe you have 10 contracts to sell 9 of them. Maybe you have $1,000 of open profit. You book it, you take 250 of it, roll a little bit out. But for now, I'm like an apple for a push into 240. Um, and as always, I think it'll be more of a QQQ thing than an apple thing. But that all shapes up nicely. And then the other trade here, um, well, as far as last week's trades... One I did on my own was a four-hour squeeze on QQQ. All right, that was back on Thursday, the 10th of October. Jumped into the 500 calls and then flipped them out there on Monday. That was that. Handful of good-looking four hours. Um, so, all right, you got the Apple Daily Squeeze and then Amazon. I think a good spot for a short-term push. If anything, maybe a push into earnings on the the 31st of October. Good hold here of the 21 EMA from the daily. Um, score of 13, got a buy signal. I think a decent spot to look for a push. Dropping down to the 2-hour time frame and a solid 2-hour squeeze. We jumped in here yesterday. Yesterday being Friday. And we bought the 190 calls for for this coming Friday. If anything, looking for a move into you know, that 192, 192 and a half target. They really want to get going. They really want to get frisky. Uh, you know, Maybe a move back towards that 195-ish. But as far as taking that two-hour squeeze and looking for a move into that two-hour target... That would be that 192 and a half ish. Uh, which, if I could wake up there Monday morning, I shall not complain. Daily squeeze on Apple, two hour squeeze here on the big Amazon. And then looking at the rankings, um, another name I think is at a very interesting spot NVIDIA. If we flip over here to the weekly. Big weekly squeeze, fresh momentum cross, brand new buy signal. Granted, you're at the dead highs. Buying at the dead high, buying at that breakout level. Maybe not the uh, the easiest entry. 
you step back from that though, if they take out the highs, if that squeeze far is long, we're looking for NVIDIA to become a $150, $160 stock. And I would, I would like to catch that. I would like to catch that. Uh, Three-day squeeze just fired. Look back here into May, June. Three-day squeeze, momentum turn. Off she goes. Maybe they go for round two um, into that 150 plus. I'm not sure where I want to buy it. The tricky thing is if you buy it up here at 140, it remains a really good looking daily chart down to about 130. I think you kind of saw that last week. Push it into the highs. Slam it back down to, you know, sub 130. Nothing changes though. Structure is bullish. Momentum is good. Cranking out that buy signal. If I do buy it up here around a buck 40, I've got to buy that in a fashion where I pull back into 135, I pull back into, you know, 130-ish. Ain't going to take me out of the game. One good thing about it, looks like earnings aren't until November 20th. You find a spot for a good entry. I think enough time here to play for a push. I'm liking Apple, I am liking NVIDIA, I am liking the Amazon. And then one more look here at the sheet. Um, Netflix. I'll show you the weekly squeeze on Netflix. Um, is is this my favorite spot to buy at Monday morning? Not quite. Yeah, not quite my favorite spot. But putting that aside, weekly squeeze just fired. You're at a brand new all-time high. Maybe not in a straight line. You know, maybe a few dips, maybe a little consolidation, lower time frame squeeze action. I think they keep it above the previous highs. Weekly squeeze could take you towards a hundred bucks and change. I want to find a better spot to uh, to pursue that idea. And then who else we got? Netflix, Apple, Amazon, Nvidia, TSM. Um, I don't think the best spot to buy a TSM. And then I'll give you Broadcom. I'll give you Broadcom and I'll send you home. We had uh, a 200 call fly for November. And we took that off for a, a tiny little 23% profit. Good setup. I think a really good trade. Uh, taking a little too long for my liking. Here's our trades for October so far. A uh, little profit on Broadcom, profit on Tesla, profit on Meta, a little more on Meta, profit on NVIDIA, profit on Netflix, gave back the profit on Netflix, profit on Apple, and now two open trades in Apple and Amazon. So the, uh, the current 25 trade challenge in the room is off to a pretty good start. But all right, folks, that is what I got for you this weekend. Long Apple, long Amazon. And I think the most important thing into uh, to the week here, you know, mainly for the big tech, big semi names, but I also think for everything, daily squeeze in the QQQ and Q. And then real quick, uh, we'll take that a step further. Let me go... Doo -doo -doo. Um, sectors. Check this out. Okay, so what this is, there we go. Um, if you're in the uh, the Central's room, it's basically the same idea as, uh, as Sam's Mag 7 Index. I've taken the 12 names from my money makers, thrown them into a weighted index. Uh, that weighted index looks like this. A plus squeeze on the two-day time frame, and A plus squeeze on the daily, the four-hour, two-hour, and the 30-minute. Point being, for my own personal watch list, uh, the things I watch, the things I like to trade, they're shaping up for a rip. Two-day time frame has a perfect squeeze. Daily time frame's got a perfect squeeze. Score of 15, the buy signal. Checking all the boxes for uh, a good push higher.
could all change Monday morning until it changes. I want to take the sheet here. Focus mainly on the top two, three, four, five names. And then go look for the setup. The squeeze and the perfect score. But all right, folks, have a great weekend. As always, thank you for watching. For those of you in the room, for those of you here on YouTube, I shall see you Monday morning for pre-market prep. Till then, be safe, and I'll talk to you soon. Adios. Oh, by the way, uh, indicator updates are going live this week. So more on that on Monday. Adios.